Welcome back guys and today I have something new for you and as you've already seen by the title and thumbnail we're going to be bringing the Alliance of American Football the new league that just debuted this past weekend to Madden and the NFL so a bit of the backstory here obviously I can't use a real Alliance team but I wanted to stick to a team from a city within the Alliance and decided to go with the Salt Lake City Flyers now how did they end up in the NFL well if you guys are familiar with what some soccer leagues do where they have relegation where the worst teams essentially get Get demoted to a lower league and then the top teams from that lower league end up being promoted in their place that's exactly the thought process here and this year the Arizona Cardinals finished with the worst record in the NFL and by virtue of relegation they have been sent to the Alliance to pave the way for the Salt Lake City Flyers so that's the fantasy world side of things but in reality I started a new franchise selected the Arizona Cardinals and relocated them to Salt Lake City a few other notes I went through and forced wins for everybody so that with the exception of ties, everything worked out the same as real life did over the first 2018 season. I also traded all of my draft picks to the three other teams in my division, and I'll explain why I did that more here in a bit, but I took the Cardinals first, fourth, and seventh and sent those to the 49ers since they're the next worst team in the West. Then I took their second and fifth and sent them to the Seahawks since they finished in second place, and then the Rams, by being the division's best team, only received a third and a sixth. I also went through and imported that franchise guy's 2019 draft class. He's another Madden YouTuber and I'm going to link his channel in the description so make sure to go check him out and show him some love because I'm sure these draft classes take an insane amount of time and effort. But once we get started there's going to be real rookies in the league however with trading all of my draft picks we likely won't have many that you're familiar with but that brings me to the next point of how we're going to build the roster. So there was a few different avenues I thought about taking. One was to build a roster of only current Alliance players, which is probably the way I should be doing this, but the issue with that is that I don't think there are nearly enough of them actually in the game. I know there's guys like Hackenberg and Berkovici at quarterback, and then Brandon Oliver, who's actually on our team in the Riverhogs franchise, but in terms of building an entire roster, I just don't think that's really feasible. That being said, if it fits with what I decided on, I'll try to have as many of those players on my team as possible, but another idea was to build my entire roster using only players from other teams' practice squads but again with that the player pool is going to be really small but it would be the best avenue to accomplish what I want which is having an absolutely awful team but what I ultimately decided on was cutting my entire roster at the end of preseason and then building that roster entirely both from team practice squads and then the free agent pool as well so whatever's left over at the end of the second preseason is what I'll have to choose from then in addition to this the catch is also going to be that I can only have scheme fits on my team so if they don't have the purple puzzle piece, they can't be on my roster. And I'm going to stick to this pretty much the whole way through. I'll only scout and draft scheme fits. I can only trade for scheme fits. I can only sign scheme fits. This team may as well be called the Salt Lake City Scheme Fits or maybe the Scheme Lake Fitty Flyers. But I decided on that direction because I think it allows me a mix of maybe having some decent players to begin with, but also being heavily restricted not only at the beginning, but also moving forward while also not really affecting the main goal of starting up with by far the worst team in the league which is also why I traded my draft picks so that I wouldn't be able to start with any great players without having to play a full season first. So that covers that. I also want to get into the format of this franchise a little bit because I want it to be different than the Riverhogs franchise. And since it's more of a rebuild, obviously, I want the pacing of it to be a bit quicker as well. So when I look at what the videos will be like, it's probably going to be almost solely focused on the team rather than the league like the Riverhogs franchise currently is. I'll still have some post-game graphics, but that portion of these videos is going to be a lot more limited and in some cases, maybe non-existent. And any information I present is going to almost exclude exclusively be relevant to the team and not so much the league and then even with things like scouting instead of showing that every single video like I do in the Riverhogs franchise I might have quarterly updates showing you a few of the top guys I've scouted and so with that being the case what will probably end up happening is there will be more videos that will be like double headers or multiple games in one video similar to how I did the preseason video for the Riverhogs franchise where I had highlights for all four games within that one video and the idea around that is like I 
said, so that it doesn't take as long to get through a season, but you're still getting that same kind of experience just at a quicker pace. But let me know what you guys want to see or any ideas you guys have on those kind of things or how I should be doing things. I'm pretty much open to just about everything at this point. Outside of that, though, highlights and commentary will be the same as the River Hog videos. I thought about playing on All Pro just because I'd like things to be a bit more fun or I guess less frustrating. But since this is going to be such a shitty team, that's not really something that I care about too much. So we're just going to go ahead and fully embrace the All Madden shenanigans and the kick blocks and all of that great stuff. And I'm just going to end up using the same sliders and settings that I use on the River Hogs franchise. So things should be as ridiculous and sarcastic as ever. But nothing's changing with the River Hogs series. I want to make that clear. That will still continue as usual. This is just going to be in addition to that and something I thought was a good opportunity to introduce something interesting and hopefully a fun change of pace as well. But let me know what you guys think of this and if it's something you're interested in and would enjoy watching as well as what kind of things you'd like to see included in a series like this. Next video, I will introduce you to the coach that you've been watching for most of this video as well as the roster and maybe the schedule and things like that as well. But like I said, leave your thoughts and any ideas you guys have in the comments. I don't really have a set roadmap or structure for this series, so I'm open to just about anything. But I think that covers everything I wanted to cover in this initial video. Just wanted to introduce you guys to the series and give you an idea of what to expect. There's going to be a River Hogs video going up hopefully tomorrow, and if not, then Thursday at the latest. And it's a huge game as we're playing the Jaguars for the number one seed in the AFC. But I appreciate you guys tuning in, and I hope this idea is something you'll enjoy. And also, I appreciate any and all feedback you guys provide. It really helps me out. But that's all I got for this video. So until next time, thanks for watching.